Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you use Microsoft Edge, you may well know, like most mainstream web browsers, Edge also has its own built-in password manager. And I posted a video um, a couple of days ago that Microsoft could be adding a third option for you to be able to access Edge's built-in password manager, and I'll leave that video linked in the end screen. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that, mentioning that video is because while we are talking about um, Edge's password manager, I thought this may be a good time to show you how you can actually view a saved password in Microsoft Edge, uh, just in case you didn't know. And uh, um, this is handy if you can't remember the password to a website. So if you had previously chosen to save a password in Microsoft Edge for a website, then just to show you how you can actually view that password. Now, the easiest to access your password manager currently in the stable version is to head to your profile and click on open passwords in the wallet section of the flyout menu. And another way you can actually access your password manager is to head to your settings. And on the profile, which will open up by default uh, in the settings, you scroll down and here's your option to enter and click on the password manager. Now, um, in that previous video, as mentioned, I showed you a third way that Microsoft is currently working on to be able to access this password manager, but that will be linked in the end screen. So once you've clicked on passwords, you head to the site um, for the password you want to view. And if you hover over that, you'll see this little R icon, um, show password, you click on that, and then you obviously have to enter your PIN if you have one set up or your device's password. You click on OK, and once you've clicked on OK, I'm not gonna show you obviously for privacy reasons, this blanked out password then will be shown, and that's how you can um, view a safe password in Microsoft Edge and especially handy um, if you can't remember the password to a website and I actually find myself uh, in my main web browser using this um, quite frequently from time to time and I think it's a handy little functional feature and just wanted to bring that to your attention in case you were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.